Hey what's up you guys, my name is Brooke and welcome back to my channel and today's video is a book tag. This video is going to be the Doctor Strange book tag that was created by G Swizzle Books and I was tagged by Jessie from Jessie's Shelf and first I want to apologize for how long it's been since I've been tagged in this video. I'm just really really bad at like catching up with my tags. I don't know, like I have two more tag videos to do. I feel like I'll never catch up, but it's fine. This is based off like, I think it's Marvel. I'm so sorry, I don't know anything about like superhero or whatever this is. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Ooh. Anyways, this is based off Doctor Strange. I know it's a movie. I'm pretty sure it's like a comic book or graphic novel stuff. So yeah, I need to educate myself. Anyways, I'm just gonna go straight into the questions. I'll leave links to Jesus Plazel books and Jesse's shelves videos down below for you to check out. Question one, Dr. Stephen Strange, an originally unlikable character that becomes teachable. And I picked, and the person I picked for this is Reed from the Burn Forward Trilogy by Jenny Han and Stephen Vivian. He was really cocky and arrogant and annoying at first, but after he softened up during his relationship with Lilia, he got a lot more um, bearable and saw the error of his ways and how he treated people and how that was wrong. And he becomes a lot more of a likable character. Number two, Christine Palmer, a side character that is loyal even when the protagonist acts up. For this, I picked Quentin from Paper Towns. I don't have my copy of Paper Towns with me, so there will be a picture either over here or over here. Quentin isn't necessarily a side character, but I thought of him because even when Margo has done like some crazy messed up stuff, he still like supports her and he thinks the best of her, which is honestly, it's kind of annoying, honestly, but it's kind of cute, but kind of annoying how much he like sees the best in her, even when she treats him like crap, treats other people like crap, has disregard for everyone's feelings, blah, blah, blah. I just have issues with Margo, but it's fine. it's fine. Number three, the ancient one, a wise fictional mentor. For this, I picked Chiron from the Percy Jackson series by Rick Riordan. Chiron really helps Percy and the gang. He guides them and helps them when they need it and when they're conflicted. And he really just kind of looks out for them. Um, he's just a really great guy um, from what I've read so far. And I really, really like him. So props for Chiron. Number four, Baron Mordo. A character that puts their motivations and what they believe in before their friendships. And for this, I picked Mayor Barrow from the Red Queen series by Victoria Aveyard. She puts her ideas and motivations with, you know, the Red Rebellion, Red Rebellion, Red Revolution, and the Scarlet Guard before a lot, including her friends and family, because she believes that the revolution is more than just her and her relationships and whatever she thinks is bigger than that. So she kind of puts her motivations and stuff before her relationships with her family. Number five, Cassilius. I'm so sorry if I said that wrong. Uh, mm, uh, a character that started off on the good side but lost the way. Definitely Mary from the Bird for Bird trilogy by Shay Han and Sia from Vivian. Her character makes a total 360 throughout this trilogy and it's just absolutely insane. I can't go on without spoiling, but really though, like crazy. Number six, Wong. An underrated character that is vital to the overall story. Newt from the Maze Runner series by James Dashner. I don't think Newt really gets enough credit for being like the glue and what keeps the gladers together through all the tough times and such. He's such a rock for them and contributes to the overall story in such a roundabout way that he just doesn't get much credit for it. I don't know. I just love Newt. So. Number seven, The Time Stone. A scene of a particular book that you would want to erase or manipulate for a different outcome. Definitely 1984 by George Orwell. I don't own this book. I will never own this book. So there will be a picture of it here or here. I hated this book, just FYI. I liked the plot, but the writing sucked and I hated the ending. I would definitely change the ending. I mean, I'm not gonna say what it was because spoilers, but if you've read it, you probably know what I'm talking about. Just hated the ending. Like I could have like given this book like maybe three stars stars for the story if it wasn't for the ending. That's how I got two stars. I just can't with that book, man. Anyways, that's the Doctor Strange book tag, and like I said before, I'll be leaving links to the original creator G Swizzle Books video down below, as well as the person I was tagged by, Jesse from Jesse's Shelf. Her video will be down there below, down there as well, and. That's it for this video guys. I'm going to be tagging some people down below. So check and make sure and see if you tagged. 
um that's it for this video guys thanks for watching until the next video bye